Go. Greetings, I'm Natalie, and I'll be one of your tour guides, and I want to make this the most exciting tour ever, so come on, let's start. I want you to imagine a cold land where the only food is what you hunt. Imagine snow everywhere. It's so common you build houses out of it. Well, that's the life of an Inuit. Welcome, my friends, to the icy world of the Inuit. Get your parkas, it's freezing. Welcome to the home of the Inuit. Big, barren, snowy land has a very harsh climate. I know they must be crazy to live here, but somehow they managed mm -hmm. to survive. The area was surrounded by icy water from the Pacific <coughs> Ocean. No wonder they never go for a swim. Am I the only one? Only one wanting a sandwich. Speaking of sandwiches, the Inuit didn't have any. The Inuit couldn't even harvest crops. Inuit Indians did fish though. They also hunted. I know listening to listen listing food is boring, but But listen, listen, listen to what, to what they ate and Jim. compare it to what we eat. The Inuit ate seals, walruses, whales, caribou, fish, and birds. Now I'm sure they ate other things if it was there, but that's the basic food I am. Jack has long sleeves t-shirts. Is that all we wear? Try dressing like an Inuit and see how many funny looks you get. <laughs> Parkas, caribou skin, and other animal skin. And fur, yes, that's what the Inuit wore. I would like to keep wearing my shirts. I'll pass them with parkas made out of skin and fur. <laughs> even imagine the igloo made of snow the Inuit eat. Did you know they also made tents out of animal skin? Yes, that is correct. I said animal skin. They also used driftwood for the tent. Anyways, serious. Now, okay, sorry. During hunting season, the Inuit often built Temporary homes, igloos to stay in. Food for those of us who don't know what a igloo is. A igloo is a dome-shaped home by made by stacks stacking ice blocks with a hole in the top to let out smoke from the campfire. Pencil and paper with glue and crayons. School stuff, right? The items I listed are called resources. Want to hear some of the English resources? If you say no, sorry, you don't have a choice. <laughs> Anyways, some animals the Inuit used were seal, walruses, whale, and caribou. Items from animals, these still are kind of the animal because the Inuit and other Indians try to use everything, including bones, antlers, horns, teeth. Inuit lived in present-day Alaska, northern Canada, and Greenland. 
The Inuit, the Inuit lives in a cold, icy, as I said before, cold Arctic. I don't have a lot to say about the location, so why not talk about the Inuit today? Many Inuits still live in their homes in Melbourne, Canada, and Greenland. Some Inuits still hunt while others have found other jobs. Many make a living from tourism. Every two years, the Inuit hunts the Arctic winter games. Well, now to the boring stuff, but I'll try to keep it fun to stay a little longer. Don't worry, the tour is on. I can't see your face. <laughs> Nineteen people chose a government leader and minister. The past Inuit did not use money. I would amuse some use assume. Assume they used trade. Maybe the Inuit traded fish for a bottle of whale oil or something, but I could be wrong. People make mistakes. No, that's you. Inuit versus Kwaku. Kwaku both Inuit. The Kwaku had a mild rain climate. Um, clothes are tree bark and skin. Inuit lived in a cold snow environment. The clothes would sink hair, hair parts made of skin and lived in the past hundred years. I hope everyone enjoyed the tour. I have a challenge for you. The next time it snows, I want you to build an igloo or try. Have a great day and research more and see what you find about the Inuit. Bye. Tell, tell me what's in here. Right. Uh, so we have the caribou, the um, polar bears, or as I like to call them, mice bears, because they look like mice. We have the sleigh. I wish we were trying to do clothes here, and we have the igloo, which is pretty much just a blob of snow. And then we have the water for the fish. The ice was and today I went a little cotton ball crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like cotton balls. They're so soft.